today we have another video about Pora City. Again, for those who don't know this channel, check it out because they have some really informative educational videos. I've been watching a lot of the videos recently because I learned a lot. Today I'm gonna watch the mastermind behind BTS. Very interesting, interesting title. I'm super excited. Since BTS rose to global fame in 2017, music industry experts have not only studied BTS as a successful musical act, but documentaries, news articles, reports, and studies always cite Ban Shi Hyuk and a certain group Han of Shiyuk. producers as the masterminds behind BTS. Mm. If there is a new musical project that this group of producers is creating, it's always titled From the Minds of BTS. Mm. People that created BTS <coughs> have this vision. This is especially true when it comes to Ban Shi Hyuk the founder of BTS's label Big Hit. Bang Shi-hyuk, the mastermind behind K-pop superstars BTS. He was labeled by Times, Forbes, and Variety mm. as the mastermind behind BTS. Mastermind At first, BTS. I didn't overthink this idea. Bang Shi-hyuk and other names close to BTS, such as producer p Dog and choreographer Son Sun duk mm. discovered, trained, and put the BTS members together in a group. It True. makes sense. They are the mastermind. However, the more I see them create, produce, and train other groups, the more I doubt them. And before I talk about what I mean, I want to clarify right. that this video specifically is not a video essay. I don't have a strong conclusion. I have different ideas and opinions related to the supposed masterminds behind BTS, and All I right. want to share them so we can start a conversation. This is going to be a very interesting video because I myself don't, I don't really know Pang Shiok or the uh, the producer or the choreographer that well, so I'm gonna learn a lot. <laughs> Big hit before BTS. Yeah, was small. I want to start by analyzing the creative ideas by this group of producers before they hit the jackpot with BTS. Ban Shi Hyuk started as a composer and songwriter for JYP Entertainment. Yeah. He wrote some successful songs for G.O.D., Rain, and Wonder Girls mm -hmm. in the 90s. This is where Bang's nickname, Hitman Bang, Hitman comes Bang. from. Hey yo, Hitman Bang introduces. Hey yo, Hitman Bang. Hey yo, Hitman Bang introduces. Hey yo, Hitman Bang introduces. In 2005, Ban Shi Hyuk decides to leave JYP and create his own label, Big Hit Entertainment. Big Hit, Big Hit trains some prospective artists and manages the music career for a JYP singer. Mm -hmm. But financial problems made the label nearly go bankrupt in 2007. Ban Shi Hyuk's salvation was collaborating with other labels. So the first thing he does is sign Lee Hyun and Lee Chang Min, mm. two of his trainees. Lee Hyun becomes part of the group 8, with members from Source Music, and Lee Chang Min becomes part of 2AM, with members of JYP. Because mm. of his previous work with JYP, Ban Shi Hyuk also continues producing music for JYP singer Lin oh. Joon and her music also becomes part of a collaborative contract between JYP and Big Hit. Mm. In 2010, Big Hit creates the girl group Glam in collaboration with Source Music and puts oh. Lee Hyun and Lee Chan Min, the two artists who are fully signed to Big Hit, in a vocal duo titled Home. As you can oh. see, all of the projects Big Kid had, with the exception of Home, were part of joint contracts with other labels. Mm. The projects with JYP had the money and recognition that comes from being part of a Big 3 label, as mm. well as the creative ideas of the ones we now call masterminds. masterminds. However, although they were not failures, these projects were not outstanding, and okay. as soon as their contracts finished, or even before, the singers left Big Kid completely. With oh. still a limited budget, Big Kid discovers, trains, and puts the BTS members together in a group from 2010 mm -hmm. to 2013. So mm -hmm. by the time most of their joint contracts with JYP and Source Music end, Big Kid at least has BTS. Mm -hmm. Starting with the resources of an almost bankrupt company, BTS becomes a huge success, surpassing mm -hmm. not only other acts from the K-pop industry, BTS becomes the biggest group in the world. So mm -hmm. biggest group in the world and they paved the way. So why this big hit creation and not their other groups? I'll start mentioning random theories because again, I don't have a strong conclusion. We All can right. say that working with other labels didn't allow Big Hit to have full creative freedom. But mm. Home had singers fully trained, signed and controlled by Big Hit. So maybe it was the lack of resources. Mm. Big Hit was financially worse when they created 8, 2AM and Glam than when they created BTS. Yes. However, 
8 2 a.m. and Glam had the financial support of other labels. Actually, the joint contracts were mostly the other labels as management and Big Kid as producers. Just like BTS, these groups are the creative ideas of Big Kid, but with a lot more resources. So the only answer I can get for now is that BTS was simply Big Kid's best idea. Now best that they idea. see what truly works, they're supposed to have a better understanding of the industry. Hive and its creation. So Big Kid is successful because BTS is successful. Now it's time to expand. Banshee Hyuk transforms Big Kid Entertainment into Hype Corporation Hi. and leaves BTS's management intact with the independent and unlisted label Big Kid Music, Big one oh, of the okay. many music labels part of Hype. As okay. a corporation with all the money, experience, and important international contacts Banshee Hyuk has thanks to BTS, Hype buys and creates label yeah, after label, is, and it's not just BTS this. anymore. The masterminds behind BTS have many successful groups. That should be more than enough for them to earn the title. But there's something that my mind just cannot process. Most of these groups are successful in the K-pop industry, but the analysis of these big names like Times, Forbes, and Variety are not about the masterminds behind a successful K-pop group. There are a lot of those types of creators. No, yeah. the title is the masterminds behind BTS, aka the biggest group in the world. The question the media asks Wan Shi Hyuk, people who work with BTS, and even their choreographer, is not about creating a K-pop group. It's about their expertise managing a group to worldwide success. And mm. I don't think Wan Shi Hyuk or anyone from HYBE can answer that. They failed their previous groups. And now, with all the money and fame they have because of BTS, they are still making decisions that don't make sense to me. They keep showing a lack of understanding of the industry. They can't oh. stop depending on BTS, even oh. while they are on hiatus. Don't get me wrong, it looks like they are trying really hard, and some of their efforts are really effective in the K-pop space. I mean, with BTS's name attached, it's almost impossible to fail in this niche industry. It's when they try to move on to the next step, to live up to their title of masterminds, when they lose credibility for me. There is one clip specifically of Banshee Hyuk promising one of his groups an entry on the Billboard Hot 100. And not mm. any entry, but a top 20. What do you top guess 20. the rank of Billboard? Like, tell me your yeah. guess. I think F is inside 20 on inside Billboard Inside 20. Yeah. Yeah. This prediction makes sense for someone who has an idea of the industry, but who can't completely get it. This K-pop group has a medium but loyal K-pop fanbase in the United States. This song was composed by an American producer known for making multiple Hot 100 Grammy-nominated hits. This song was a collaboration with the Jonas Brothers, a popular American name. It had a music video with a choreography and four remixes. But the song didn't mm. enter the Billboard Hot 100 or even the bubbling under Hot 100, oh. much less the Hot 100 Top 20. This makes it less surprising for me to see other hype groups having a sudden hope on the Billboard charts, when they are far from it or when their promotion strategies are not the correct ones for these specific charts and audiences. <laughs> <웃음> 아, <웃음> 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 <웃음>
but having an album chart at number 15 or 2, while none of the songs of these albums appear on the Hot 100 or even the bubbling under Hot 100, tells me that K-pop fans and K-pop fans only are buying these albums in masses, while Hype is unable to target American audiences correctly and transform them into organic listeners. The streams of a number 2 Billboard 200 album do not look like this. These constant and loose talks of the Billboard charts make me wonder if there were predictions and promises by high producers of a bigger success than what these groups ended up achieving, just like what we saw in that one clip. In interviews, we can see that Banshee Hyok's goal is not to stay in the K-pop industry, because the K-pop industry's massive numbers have been too dependent on BTS's massive numbers. I've noticed this more than anyone. If BTS releases something, the K-pop industry grows. If BTS goes on hiatus, the K-pop industry declines. Oh, if BTS releases a song, the K-pop industry grows. But if BTS go on the hiatus, the K-pop industry declines. Banshi Hyok has the Banshee hope Hyuk. that this massive decline is not just because of BTS's military enlistment. Maybe it's just a global trend that is dying down, and BTS's military enlistment simply coincided with that decline. Do you worry that it's just going to fizzle out? 그게 지금 제가 제일 우려하는 겁니다. 실질적으로 저희 수출 지표라든지 스트리밍 성장률을 보고 있으면 사실 성장률에서의 둔화라는 거는 좀 되게 명확히 보입니다. 이게 BTS의 군입대로 인한 일시적 현상이면 다행인데 저는 사실 일시적 현상인가에 대한 oh. 우려가 있고요. 이거보다는 더 확실하게 글로벌리 글로벌 마켓에서 인지가 올라가야 되고. Whatever the reason, the current decline of K-pop made Ban Shi Hyuk focus a lot more on global mainstream audiences than K-pop audiences. But just because he is focused doesn't mean that he is expertly transcending the K-pop industry. Just because BTS gave Hive the American industry experience, it doesn't mean that these producers are suddenly experts. As we can see, they have an idea, but they are nowhere close to being masterminds. Big comments, predictions, and attempts like this lead me to believe that although this group of people may have good songwriters and producers, their lack of understanding of the industry tells me that they are not really the masterminds they are portrayed to be. Don't get me wrong, Hype's new groups can be considered acceptable or good projects. Hype has some of the most recognizable names for Korean and international K-pop fans, but Hype's previous groups were also acceptable or good projects in theory. Some were very good artistically. The difference is that now, the failure of a song does not equal disbandment. The failure of a project does not equal the bankruptcy of the company. The money and fame BTS gives to HYBE allows their other groups to be big names from day one and move on after any failed attempt. Maybe their next project works out better and it's like nothing happened. But their moderate success is because of the opportunity they have of trial and error, not because they are the creation of amazing masterminds. So again, what made BTS different? Why were they the ones to become the biggest group in the world? An achievement that no mastermind creation before or after BTS could even come close to. We're truly honored to be on this on stage with BTS. such amazing, tremendous artists right over here. So let's go back to the creation of BTS. Since BTS. he was 14 years old, RM shared his unofficial songs and compositions on online platforms. In 2009, mm. RM got the attention of the rapper Sleepy at an underground hip-hop cruise audition. 40, Sleepy mentioned RM's music to big hit producer P Dog. P Dog then showed RM's demo tape to Banshi oh. Hyuk and told him this is what the young kids are into. Banshi Hyuk signed RM immediately oh. and formed Bangtan Sonyeondan with RM as the first member. A lot oh. of trainees joined RM in different lineups for the group then abbreviated as BPV. One of the BPV. old lineups we know because they released music together was composed of RM, Iron, and Supreme Boy, but oh. it ended up not working out. However, Big Kid kept RM as the first mm. member. This is how Big Kid started finding people who could fit in an idol hip-hop group 
with RM. Do you see the trend here? Big Kid casually finds a young artist who is talented and makes good music. Then they create a group with his sound in mind because that's what young people are into. Then they try finding rappers and singers Sugar. who can perform the music he made in that one demo tape. RM's vision of the group convinced not only Big Kid, but it also convinced the right people to stay in the group. The first lineup with Iron and Supreme Boy was perfect in theory. They sounded very good together, but they were not fully convinced of the idea of BTS. The ones who were convinced stayed in the group. RM convinced the right trainees to stay in that broke label and fight for their debut, instead of leaving broke for better label. opportunities. Like Jungkook, for example, who Jungkook. had opportunities to join the biggest K-pop labels. Suga right. even changed the trajectory of his musical career, deciding to become a member of BTS instead of staying a producer behind the spotlight. Suga was so determined that he took part-time jobs to make BTS's debut become a reality. So, yes, the big hit producers looked everywhere for trainees. They found the members and made them practice. But who started and finished the preparation of the project? Whose demo tape became the starting point? Who was signed immediately, almost in desperation <laughs> of losing him? Whose idea scared the wrong trainees away and who convinced the right trainees to stay? If the big hit producers were not lucky enough to find RM first, would they still be considered the masterminds they are today? In an interview for Time magazine, Banshi Hyuk mentions four things that led to BTS's global fame. Lack in timing, his more liberal training system, the production of songs with messages that resonate with youth around the yep. world, and the connection between the BTS members and fans. With the exception of timing and luck, these factors can be all traced back to one person. If RM's songs were introduced RM. to Big Kid as what the young kids are into now, it's not surprising that Big Kid allowed BTS to have songs with messages that resonate with the youth. If RM mm. was introduced as a good rapper and songwriter with a good sense of what works, it's not surprising that Big Kid gave BTS a more liberal training system. If RM mm -hmm. started by sharing his music on online platforms, it's not surprising that Big Kid encouraged BTS to follow RM's steps and share unofficial mm -hmm. songs on online platforms and communicate on social media. Who made or inspired Big Kid to follow these characteristics? Who is the real mastermind here? Ooh, this is getting real interesting. Real interesting. Are y'all paying attention? Because I am. Recognizing Big Kid's input and luck. Okay. By recognizing RM as the bigger contributor, I'm not trying to erase Big Kid's input. Without them, RM's idea of BTS wouldn't even come to fruition, especially okay. when we know that other labels are so desperate for control and power over their artists. What kind of label lets a 16-year-old lead a group? But I yeah. believe that is Big Kid's most important input. They have faith on their artists. The BTS members were not all the perfect candidates to be idols in the K-pop industry. Some were actually rejected by other labels. The BTS members were not already wealthy people with parents who could invest in their children's uh -huh, dreams. Uh -huh. To the contrary, the members' livelihoods were on the line here. But big kids seemed to prioritize raw talent and kind-hearted people over money and the stereotypical K-pop image. Mm -hmm. That is an amazing attitude. But the one real mastermind choice Big Kid took was signing RM immediately and let him guide the group. Because without RM, the choices are made by Big Kid exclusively. And to this day, they are still trying to figure out what works and what doesn't in the industry. The real choices of Big Kid include working with big names just because, misunderstanding audiences, going back to training artists to perfection, not even attempting to find young songwriters anymore forgetting that there's beauty in the imperfect candidates. And taking risky decisions and making mistakes is fine, but the label of mastermind is too big. My point is that a good songwriter or producer or choreographer does not always equal a good creator. It does not equal a mastermind. Of course, True. the irrelevant label Big Kid can now dress themselves as the international mastermind company hype. But without RM's mind, you get BTS's previous and subsequent groups. Good in theory. Nice music, talented people, hardworking people, but no real mastermind, 
no biggest group in the world. Ooh, damn, I thoroughly enjoyed this video. I'm really curious what the people think. Let's read the comments. Conclusion, everyone should stand up and clap every time Namjoon enters a room. <laughs> to me, the mastermind BNP is actually seven men of BTS because they are the ones that we went through the trenches together and said teamwork makes the dream work. They're the ones that I had to pull together when hurt, sick, or exhausted because they knew they needed to have no regrets at the end of the day. Yes, they had help, but no one has been able to create that once in a lifetime magic like BTS. Last group to do that was the Beatles in the 1960s, so before my lifetime. Okay. No one can replicate BTS's success, not even hype. As Sugar said, he gets all the responsibilities as a leader and not enough credit. The mastermind here is Namjoon. He convinced bigger to get Hobi back when he left because he knew they needed him. Jungkook joined because of him. Namjoon made the members listen to all type of music. And now HYBE makes their trainees do exactly that. There are so many other examples in which Jun's input was crucial, their success as the accomplishments uh, blah, blah. Seven's blood, sweat, and tears, the love BTS has for ARMY, blah blah blah. You know what? I agree. I do agree. If you really have to choose a mastermind behind BTS's success, I would say it's RM and the BTS gang gang gang. Now, I'm not saying I'm right. It's just my thought, my opinion. Let me know what y'all think because this is a very interesting topic. I love this video.